welcome back in the last video we have discussed about string concatenation so what we have done in the last video we have used the library function strcat okay and apart from that we have seen that we have used our own you know uh, way in order to do the string concatenation what we have done is that we have traversed the entire first string till we reach the null character then after that we have you can traverse the second string till the null character and each of this character from the second string we are uh, storing into the first string yes and lastly we got the con string okay now in this video we'll see concatenation of two string using function okay and pointer also so let me uh let me it's gonna function okay and i give this name as okay so f name and l name right so already it is given so sf name okay and comma okay l s l name yes okay so we have written this function okay so now what we do to do as we have done simply we will call this function string cat okay and that's all now we have to design the function sorry define the function so int strcat cat okay so what is the character i have given the name as sf name okay uh, comma character s l name yes and throw me back and off okay so now what i will do just i simply will copy this code okay sorry control x yes and control v yes done so okay so here it will be return zero okay so now i have to declare the declare this i and j yes i n t i comma j okay so done yes so the logic is same just simply now i have to change this name because this should be now s f name okay and this will be now s l name uh, this is s f name on s l name okay s f name and sf name okay so my function i declare string cat sf name and sl name okay and i call this function okay and there what i have done the same thing i have traveled the entire you know first string till till the null character yes i got the length so length equal to minus point all of you know because it is an array starting from index zero okay i take another variable j equal to zero second string i am i am again traversing till it is null character and each character i am storing into the first you know string then first string i ended with a null character and the concatenated string using two uh, concatenated of two string okay using function function is this okay let me save and let me execute okay okay different kind of symbol okay so let me void i think that already that function is there right so that's why it is giving the problem okay maybe the return type i have given is the wrong return type yes variable or or a field string get Oh, oh, oh control z okay what i have done is mistake here i understood one thing uh, right ind uh, okay this is character as name 
and character this definition i have not done okay i have given i forgot to give the data types okay so now it is okay well oh again this gap I have, huh, array okay so fine so now it is okay working so i will give the first name Bupesh. okay then deka so we got Bupesh deka string complicated machine yes so simply okay string okay string cat i have given okay character chr f name okay csr f name and chr s s l name okay and i have declared this function then same as i have taken this two uh as f name and l name and i have written a str cat cat okay and f name l name i have passed okay and then the basic is same so it is stored in sf name and sl name so i just traverse the sf name till null okay and i minus minus uh, because we got the length then you decrease by one and then again traverse the the next you know string uh, sl okay and till and once we're traversing till we've got null character each of the character is stored in the end of the first string right okay and then we got the concatenation so this is done so this i think it is all of all of us it is clear bit uh you know string concatenation now what i will do is i will use pointer okay so let me give this like this uh, double slash so that it will be easy for us to again explain back and the end string strcat cat okay a pointer right say it sir i will keep the name as same sf name comma character star sl name okay yes okay so nothing change in the main function here i just have to put okay let me this function also be there again i will control z let the function be here okay so it is int strc at cat okay character star star sf name common character no? star sm name okay so anti i comma j yes and now the same logic just i need to use the pointer so while okay star of s of name okay plus i yes not equal to the null character yes not equal to the null character okay yes i plus plus so we'll go we'll keep on going till we get the null character and then after that j equal to zero okay i minus minus okay then again while okay okay star it will be sl name hmm. okay plus plus j not equal to null character okay not equal to null character then what i will going to do i will just copy it right each character the same thing that we have done so it will be just i need to copy this yes equal to 
saving coffee just i need to give this as sl name okay? and this will be j this will be j and this will be i right so this removed so now i have what i plus plus and j plus plus because i have to increment the value of i and increment the value of j okay and then at the end i will just write star star okay f f name okay plus i equal to i add the null character yes okay then i will print it yes Yes, using function and pointer, right? And pointer is this. Let me see. Okay, so let me execute. What is given? Expected semicolon. Where is that semicolon? Oh, yes, save. Let me execute. Okay, I got. So the first name Kupesh. Okay, then Deka. Yes, so I got it. Kupesh Deka using function and pointer. Okay, the same thing I will copy it here. I will copy and put it into the function. We will last as similar as last video because we are reading call by reference. Yes, and simply I have to change the name. It is sim. It is nothing but as name, but it is f name pointer in main function right yes slash n yeah full stop uh, sorry save and then again let me execute so bupesh okay and the deka so that is i got bupesh deka con sort of new string in the function itself and this is the bupesh deka in the main function because i'm using pointer all by reference okay so simply again i will revisit this code so this is the pointer sf sf name pointing to f name and sl name pointing to l name okay so i traverse so how i will do star s of name plus i okay so initially okay um, oh i have not put i equal to zero so i should be equal to zero okay so it has taken already i to be zero okay right so let me save it okay so let me execute again and see so this is rupesh okay this is deka it is giving the answer right okay fine so now it is going on till we get the last character okay till the what you say the end uh, the null string okay after that i put j equal to zero yes and then i is decremented and then star s of uh, no then similarly you know s uh, s l name plus j not equal to null second string i'm i'm going to the null and then adding into the first string okay and then at the end i'm i'm the adding the null character is the same process only thing you have to understand the pointer right s f name plus i and star means it will it will take the base address plus whatever value is i it will move to that location and the content of that will be reflected okay so this is how we have written uh, the two uh, function one uh, simply we are passing the array and other we are passing the uh, we are passing the address and taking it as the pointer so okay and we have seen that we can easily do the string concatenation okay i hope the entire you know idea of string concatenation using function and pointer is clear okay thank you so much